Kruger's has been here since 1939 in this location, and it's a family-owned business. I'm third generation. My daughter is also in the business. She's fourth generation, and it was started in Texas. We opened in 1963. My dad started it, and uh, he retired in 82. I've been running it since then. Now my son's been here about four or five years, and he's really taken the reins. We've been in business for well over 40 years, but we've been a uh, full-service bilingual store for about six years. Precision Camera's been in business since 1976. We moved into this new location a year ago with the help of our customers. We are now the largest camera store in the state of Texas. My shop has been here since 1903. It was founded here in Gonzales. America was built on small business. We employ most of the people. This is really the bedrock of our country. And we're dying. Small business is dying. What we should really be doing is talking about a level playing field so that local brick and mortar stores like myself and my wife can compete with those internet stores that don't have to, uh, they don't have to file for sales tax like we do quarterly. Leveling the playing field from a taxation standpoint is important because there's a thought in the United States about fairness under the law, that the law should be administered evenly for every citizen, not just for some in one way and some a different way. If I'm running a business here and somebody wants to put one right next door to me, I don't have a problem with that. But they should have to jump through the same hoops I do and collect the same taxes I do. It's not fair for me to start off with an eight and a quarter percent disadvantage just right out of the gate. You're giving preference to one company over another and if we're going to survive in a free market then it should be even and fair across the board. Anytime one business has to collect sales tax or pass on something to the government that another business doesn't have to pass on to the government, that's obviously going to hurt the people that have to collect it. A free market only works if everybody's playing by the same rules. And if you've got one class of people that are playing by one set of rules that's favorable to them, and you've got another class of people that are, you know, laboring under a different set of rules, you're going to have problems and you're going to have people going out of business, you have people losing their jobs. We support our community quite a bit. We like to make sure that we take care of our customers. The local businessman is one of those people that's going to do that for you because it's a relationship business between you and me. It's not something impersonal that's just on the internet. We're involved with our youth programs, we're involved with our churches, we're involved with the community that surrounds us here, whether either it's for senior citizens on a church drive or for children in a youth activity. I wish we didn't have to collect taxes, but we do. Every legitimate business does. That's what our government has asked us to do. If we don't do it, we get put in jail. You know? <laughs> I think it's a matter of fairness, and I think that it flies in the face of what you know the, this country is built on, which is equality under the law. What Congress needs to do is to quit stalling. It's going to eventually happen because it's the right thing to do. I tell you what, I, I don't make very many bets, but I can bet you this. If this bill passed, to also see is that's a very, very good thing for our local economies. I want my congressmen to know that we're taking names. If they don't want to help support us, why would we want to support them? I don't know why they don't want to support the people, the small business in Texas that helped get them elected. I guess the wheels of justice move slowly. I have a positive approach to it. I believe it is going to happen. And I have the patience to see it through and wait for it to happen. I think we've got a lot of good people working on it, people that care. I just want a chance to fulfill the American dream of having my own business and playing on a level playing field.